what I'm tired of hearing most. People complain about the privilege or people who deny the privilege. I understand why people deny the privilege though. Matter of fact, I take that back. I'm tired of people complaining about it. Because I understand why people say it doesn't exist. Because you gotta understand that just because it exists, it doesn't mean that in every individual situation that it's gonna work out for those people. This is what people gotta understand. So for me, I'm not crying about it. I don't care. God is, God is my privilege. I made this video before. God is better than white privilege, so I don't care. And this is what black people need to start doing. Who gives a fuck? You know it exists, but with God, who can stop you? God will put the right people in your life to where it does not matter. So what are you crying about? You gotta understand that nobody wants to hear you say, uh, you're more privileged than me because of your color. They know what's going on, but that don't mean they life ain't fucked up. That don't mean they life ain't hard. Nobody wanna hear that shit, man. Nobody want to hear it. Get, fix, find a way to make it out this motherfucker, man. Because it's not fair for you to go beating the other people. Hey, you're more privileged than me. They they know it exists, but they don't want to hear it. So stop saying it to them. Because a lot of people are struggling, man. Just because they're a certain color don't mean that they benefited from the privilege. Now, I understand. Say you take a guy, me and another guy, different race. And we open the same type of business right next door to each other. I understand that most people, and say that business is the only business in town. I understand that most people are going to go to that guy. I get it. That's privilege. But most people ain't trying to hear that, man. And I would not make that excuse. Even though I know it's true, I don't give a fuck. But at the same time, take, take a white dude that's good in basketball. And guess what? Nine times out of ten, they're going to draft the black guy. See, it don't always work every time for them. There's a lot of things that it doesn't work for them all the fucking time. But all y'all doing is arguing back and forth about who's lucky and who's not. Some people like to make excuses for their failures, so they're saying because I'm, I'm not white, that's why I'm failing in life. You can make it, man. They cannot stop, nobody can stop you with God. Nobody, nobody, dog. So what are you worried about? Who cares about their privilege? I don't, I don't give a fuck. Because if somebody gets hired because he's a certain color and I'm not and they get hired oh well I don't want to work there I don't want to work for that place who cares God did me a favor God will put me in the place that I need to be that deserves that that chair that uh, hires me and honors me for who I am not for what I look like y'all missing the whole fucking point everybody got to pay bills just like you and everything else man I'm not trying to and I'm not trying to say that I don't understand like I do understand, but stop crying about it. Do something about it. By how do you do something about it? Taking control of your life, man, and stop making excuses. Never settling for less. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about the privilege, man. Neither should you. Because it's, and most importantly, man, it's just not fair to people. You got struggling people, uh, homeless people and everything. They ain't trying to hear that. What if you was their race and you were struggling? You trying to hear it, you got a privilege? Motherfucker's like, where's my privilege, motherfucker? I'm starving. I don't know where my next meal for my kid coming from. What the fuck you mean, privilege? Straight up. At a time like this, the last thing we need is to argue about who got a privilege and who don't. If you want to know the truth, nobody got a fucking privilege, if you want to really be honest. The government got the privilege because we all they slaves. That's who got the damn privilege. But y'all steady sitting here arguing once again over who got privilege and who don't. Man, who gives a flying fuck? How about sometimes when certain, uh, how about sometimes when they try to go how about sometimes when, when the so-called white people try to go to welfare and they get denied sometimes and black people get this and that? I've seen it with my own eyes. Single white uh, females with no kid or with kids wondering, well, why can't I get this? How, that, how did uh, black girls get it? So it's not all, and I'm not making excuses. I understand why black people feel the way they do. But like I said, fuck that privilege, dog. 
You got to go hard for this, man. A lot of people are struggling. It ain't because of white privilege. Because you went and bought a $70,000 car. That's why you're struggling. Because you're popping bottles and you're doing this and that. You got to think about it. It's, it ain't them that's killing us. It's us that's killing us. It ain't them that's knocking us off. It's us that's knocking us off. And that even goes for the other. Cause the other, all y'all, and people make it seem like everybody in the other race is so happy and, and everything in their life is just glamorous. That's bullshit. That yes, they have a privilege. If I mean, put it like this: it's harder. It's in in many ways, it's harder being black in many ways, but not always though. Not always. Not every single situation. Every the the privilege, the privilege car don't always come into play in everybody's life in every fucking situation that's what y'all not getting and, and if i and if i was a different color i wouldn't want to hear that shit either i wouldn't like every day you wake up you hear motherfuckers say you got a privilege you got it so great because of what you look like even if it is true i don't want to hear that shit i'm out here struggling busting my ass just like you everybody know it exists what the fuck are we gonna do about it I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do about it. I'm not going to worry about it because I got God privilege. As long as God on my side, I don't need no race privilege. What's a race privilege compared to a God? Nothing. Nothing. They can't stop you. That goes for any race, though. Nothing can stop you but you. If, if you're a white dude and you want to uh, be a running back in the NFL, nothing can stop you but you. Even though black men are privileged in that position. Let's be honest about it. You could be one of the most best white running backs in the motherfucking college and they gonna pick the black one. Stop saying, stop me when I'm lying. Christian McCaffrey, the only one so far that I see in this motherfucker. So it is what it is, man. Things go the way they go, whatever, man. The government got it this way so we can argue and fight and y'all continuously fall for the bullshit, man. Does the privilege exist? Yes. Do everybody of that race benefit from it? No. Matter of fact, some black people even benefit from that same privilege. It might not be because of their color, but they still benefiting from it. More than some of them other races. So what are y'all talking about, man? This damn alarm. It's time for me to get up out of here, man. I gotta go back to work. But I get it, man. They don't have to worry about being racial profiled. They don't have to worry about if, if they open a business. Most people don't want to fuck with them because oh, they black. They might fuck up some shit or, or they can't be true. I get all that. But guess what? There's a God and God will put people in your life. And when you do work for somebody and then guess what? Say I do say I do some line work for some old white dude, right? And then he turns turns me on a uh, temp like, oh, then, man, this black dude that I know cut my grass, best shit I ever seen. And then he t turns me on to a bunch of other old white people who need their grass cut. You can't be stopped if you got God. Take your craft serious and you cannot be stopped. Nothing can stop you, dog. What are y'all What are y'all arguing about? You're wasting energy on nothing. I refuse to address that race shit. I don't give a fuck about it. I know it exists, but I'm ignoring it because it's small to me. It's a small thing to a giant, dog. Just like haters, you ignore them. Same thing. Who gives a fuck about the privilege? I'm not gonna go up to to my friends of other races and say you're privileged, dog. They, they ain't trying to hear that. They struggle in life just like me. It might not be so much of the race struggle, you know, but they still struggle. They still deal with the same type of struggles for the most part that I'm dealing with. Damn, they're the same shit. And what happens? Let's say there's a business. Uh, let's say we live in Atlanta or something, and and mo most of them businesses have black supervisors and shit and they might hire black people before more white people so you can't say everywhere in the fucking world it's white privilege every come on man it's stupid why do y'all let this shit bother y'all so fucking much man that's what they want they want us to argue and separate they want you to feel like the so-called oh uh, we're only at the black people no they at everybody and they want and, and truth be told they want a lot of white people to feel like they're privileged too so they can rock them to sleep remember i said in those videos they got them sleep like a baby thinking that it's if nothing applies to them that's their fault if they believe that if they believe you know that they so privileged and shit that's their problem that'll be their downfall because they believe trust and believe they really not they just want y'all to think this if you look at the elite, that's all colors of people. Jay-Z, all of them. All of them in that shit, man. It ain't just some uh, white people. No, Jay-Z and all them motherfuckers in there. All these rappers leading your kids to slaughter. They're a part of it too. 
So stop acting like it's just them, man. You can't be ignorant. I'm not taking the side either. I'm not saying the privilege don't exist. What I'm telling you is, in your mind, it does. It should not exist. If if you if the God you believe in is bigger than a, pri a race privilege, then what the fuck you worried about? Can't nothing stop you. But you, but you, by making poor choices, I'm gonna go get a seventy thousand dollar car instead of going to get a a, a, a truck a CD a semi. Stupid shit like that. Stupid shit like that is what causes motherfuckers to fall. I'm out this bitch, man. I understand that certain things, it matters. Like Black Wall Street got destroyed. Certain things matter. I get it. But for the most part, man, I really feel like if you believe in God, he'll make the way. I don't think things can stop you. Say say I'm a, I'm trying to, say I, I, uh, I clean apartments and, and there's apartment complexes and they give most of the contracts to the white guys. That's fine. But sooner or later, God going to put me in the best, the best con. You think God didn't see what happened? You think God didn't see what happened? Oh, they the God look at, oh, yeah, you didn't give it to him because he's black. That's all right. I got something better for him. See, you cannot be stopped with God, bro. You can't be stopped with God. Just like the job I'm at now. All I had to do is be great. They don't discriminate. When the routes come out, I'm one of the first people. Ain't no white privilege there. You know, I work hard. I put in my work. They don't be like, oh, well, Tawan, we got to give these. No, that it don't, it don't happen that way. It just doesn't. Now, you do sometimes have some drivers that are a little, seem a little privileged, but but they be both colors, though. They don't be just one color. It be black black ones and the white ones. But for the most part, when it comes to shit that should be uh, put this, the right way, like seniority should matter, I'm there because I, I'm seniority. You see what I'm saying? And guess what? I had to put in my time for that. No privilege can overthrow that you know because i'm in a great god put me in a great company god put me in a great company you see what i'm saying just like you know maybe maybe i deliver to somebody that is racist and they they make up a story and said i've done something i might get get taken away from that route in that store and then god puts me in a better route in a better store with better people who love you just like that lady i was just waving at you see what i'm saying can't stop you dog who cares about the privilege and if you are white, don't even don't fall asleep with that thinking I got a privilege bullshit either. And don't even argue with people who think you got a privilege. Don't argue with people who think that your life is just so perfect because of your skin color. That's bullshit. You have struggles too. It's just so happens that when you're black, it's a little you have some different struggles when it comes because it comes to race sometimes. It's different struggles sometimes. But for the most part, we all struggle with the same bullshit on a day-to-day -day basis. And that is facts. And I'm not addressing this shit no more. I'm tired of hearing it, dog. Can't nothing stop you if you got God privilege. Believe that shit. That goes for anybody. 